Today we have carried out some ultraviolet experiments, but the things I saw were a big shock for me. What's up? I got an idea when I just ordered a small ultraviolet lamp. Such lamps are used by detectives when they try to find some invisible evidences. Ultraviolet isn't seen for us, but when it reaches any surface, and the surface reflects the ultraviolet radiation <laughs> making some things appear visible for us. Secret marks. Thus we can see some marks usually invisible for us. Invisible while objects don't get extra ultraviolet radiation. For example, marks, banknotes or documents. Glowing so cool. Let's have a look at the usual painting, exposed to ultraviolet. We can see some strokes here. The ultraviolet can help us to determine its authenticity and the age too. I don't know why right now, but I can see different layers of paint on my door. The history of door painting. Now we are going to experience a sanitary cultural shock. This is a freshly cleaned oven. Look and see that it's all clean. We've been trying hard to clean this, but... If you only expose it to ultraviolet radiation, all this beauty turns into a dirty den. All this looks so clean without ultraviolet. The frying pan is clean, but there's just some oil on the bottom. The kitchen tile seems clean too, but what the hell? Have a look at the oven! What the heck is that? What can provide you with the ultraviolet radiation? The most primitive are these tiny lanterns. They are cheap and commonly used. They must cost around one dollar. But my lantern is much more awesome. Be ready for the convoy with the Japanese microchip, called somehow Nichia. The chip's advantage is a special wave range of 365 nanometers, which is the best for seeing things. I mean, suits best for seeking clues. Holy apocalypse! Just for common knowledge, the chip lamps have the range of 395 nanometers, and this range is almost visible for humans. It shines brightly, but it shows almost nothing. I just see some dust here. Let's have a look at a cool one. Looks absolutely different. I didn't know the money are filled with colors. And so, that is my room exposed to ultraviolet radiation. Let's make a quiz show right now. What's that in my hands? There is another source of ultraviolet radiation. The black lamp which emits the strong and deep dark light. Why it's called black light? Because it isn't visible in the way the white light is. <laughs> in real life it is totally black. The camera makes it seem blue for you. Let's check out how it will deal with the banknotes. I can see that the wave range is good. Let me show you something. The ultraviolet gets easily through this black magic gloss. But it can go through the sunglasses. It touches only paper around it. By the way, the ultraviolet can be useful. Not only in checking the banknotes or searching some clues. Some pros use the ultraviolet going to gather some mushrooms in the night. Because the mushrooms are easily visible exposed to ultraviolet. Also, the ultraviolet will give away the amber and radioactive minerals. Or many other prominent things. What will it be like if to expose a human face to the ultraviolet? Let's see that. There are my lanterns. Turn off the light. <laughs> Holy nightmare! Compare with the daylight! <laughs> hey dude! What's up? Why are you glowing this way? Why there is nothing like this in the daylight version of you? Do you see that? Are the mushrooms or clues on your face? Off the light? Look at these strangely looking eyes! <laughs> Why the teeth are glowing so much? That's even too much! The power of the lantern I bought is so strong that I can just burn things with it. You just think that you can just burn something with the ultraviolet light? <laughs> with the light! Now we're going to see some smoke right there. Yeah, here it goes! You're going to make a hole! Ultraviolet is around, you will find nothing in the forest, it's dark, but we'll go there anyway, because we've got the magic lantern. And we will get the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. 
help us on Patreon, subscribe and share this video. Thank you, goodbye. Cheers, love.